Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where it's time for the start of our December 2022 Europe Theme Park trip! Yes indeed! So we're going to be going to Europa Park, Phantasialand and Efteling. Oh we are so excited to get back to three of our favourite parks in Europe and this time for their Christmas events oh, as well. I've never seen them at Christmas so I can't wait. Yeah I mean you've been to all the parks before I but haven't. seeing them for the festive season is always spectacular and yeah I'm really excited to get back to them and in this travel vlog we're making our way here from Stansted Airport through to Germany uh, to Baden-Baden Airport from there we're going to be getting a bus and two trains down to Europa Park and uh, we're going to be showing that journey along with our accommodation in Rust where we're going to be staying oh, I can't wait yeah we're going to be staying in a nice uh, apartment which we stayed at before it was, really nice. uh, it was fantastic and it was literally less than a five minute walk from the entrance to Europa Park one of our best parks out there we absolutely love it so yeah come and join us uh, of course we'll show you the journey we've come down to Stansted because to be honest it's the cheapest place for cheap flights. You get some good flights oh we've honestly we've had some bargains and we thought this time instead of driving out there with the current prices of fuel we'll get public transport uh, and show you what that's like as well obviously once we've had a few days at Europa Park we're then going to make our way from that part of Germany down to Fantasyland near Cologne and then following that we're actually going to get the train from Germany through into the Netherlands for after oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, lots coming up uh, over the next couple of weeks here on Theme Park Worldwide. We're just waiting here on the car park now to get the bus. This is the bit that always takes the time, I isn't know. it? Like, we get finding a space when you park on here we're on the long stay car park. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll wait for the bus, get to the terminal, straight through security, and then check into our uh, Ryanair flights. Nice and cheap this was. It was a 9.99 special, oh, Charlotte. Classic. You can get some really good cheap flights from this airport. Wait too long for our bus there over from the car park. It only took about five minutes after yeah, stopping the clip. You can take ages, <laughs> yeah, the every 15 minutes fast. they're supposed to come, aren't Which they? Is good. Yeah, but uh, anyway, we made it through security nice and quick. Yeah, there wasn't many people about, so it was quite easy and get straight through. It's not really a busy time of year to travel, it's though, is it? To be, really, honest. to be honest. Yeah, it's all right, really, yeah, for uh, getting through. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What have you got here then, Charlotte? You got your case there? Uh, hey, all packed up. Fantastic. Yeah, we've paid just for the one case and we've put loads of clothes in there aren't we each half other. each because we didn't need a massive case no, we didn't, with us so. moving about quite a bit this trip we, we wanted to keep it easy stuff. didn't we yeah, exactly. um which is fantastic but uh charlotte's wearing a nice festive green as well yeah, I'm in the green today. for the christmas uh, trip quite hot, to be uh, yeah yeah well there you go we get onto the plane just over here standard Ryanair aircraft just over there as well. Nice Boeing 737 800 series aircraft. It's going to be about a 90 minute flight um, over to Baden Baden. And then when we get there, like I say, we're going to make our way out of the terminal and get on a bus to the nearest train station. Let's go and fly. Then. So we've had our flight there with Ryanair and it took about an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, not too bad, quite quick to be honest. Yeah, a little bit shorter than we were expecting. Waited about 20 minutes to get through passport control, but luckily they had quite a few people on, yeah, which, which was, was good. good. And then we've made our way outside to get on the X. 34 bus. Now we just had to queue up at the ticket machine because I believe you can't pay on the bus yeah, in this one. Yeah, there's only one machine <laughs> as well. Yeah, so bear that in mind if you're coming here. The bus tends to be every hour or so to Burrell Station, um, which is located about 35 minutes from here. When we get to there, we're then going to get on the train down to Offenburg, change there, and then head down to Ringsheim, which is the closest train station to Europa Park. And I think we're going to see Ed Euromount oh, above the uh, train station. But uh, yeah, we've got our tickets for an adult single. It's three. Euros 80. I think we got the right I thing. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I've never done this journey before. We normally come from Basel, so yeah, a little bit different coming here to Baden Baden. But uh, yeah, overall, nice and easy flight. And uh, yeah, it was pretty easy to get the tickets once you know the yeah, queue moved. We yeah. were just hoping that we've got enough time, but the bus 
should be coming in any few minutes. And yeah, the good thing is, if you use Google Maps, it actually tells you bus times and routes on there. But like I say, we're heading to Brule Station, and when we get to there, uh, we'll be uh, getting on the train. So we had our 35 minute bus journey there. Yeah, with some nice scenery. Went through lots of little German villages and towns, which is quite nice. Wasn't it? Yeah, scenery was great on there, wasn't it? Was yeah, I really liked that. But uh, yeah, nice and easy. And yeah, we've made our way here now to Brule Station. And yeah, the bus stops literally just around the corner there. Uh, you walk out and then you can see the train tracks and the station here. Now we've actually found out, thanks to Google, that there is a direct train now to yeah, Ringside. So we haven't got to get off, which is good. Yeah, because we're a little bit later than we thought we were going we to be. Are, yeah. Whereas before, if we were earlier, we would have had to connect in Offenburg. So at least we get a direct one. Yeah, even though we are still going through Offenburg, I think exactly. it stops there for about 15 minutes. Just sit on the train. Yeah, that's the thing. So it's worth noting there is from this station direct trains to Ringsheim as well, good. which I didn't realise. Like I said, I've only done this route once before many years ago. So yeah, we're just waiting on this side now. It's a very small station, we're all here. Uh, it's only got the two tracks, obviously one going that way towards Kalarush, this way uh, in the direction we're going down towards Offenburg and Ringsheim. So yeah, we'll get on the train. I booked my tickets online through Deutsche Bahn's website, but you can also buy them from the machines as well. There's a machine located here on the station, but yeah, it's a very small station, as you can see, a couple of little eateries, and yeah, the bus literally dropped us off just around the corner there, and yeah, it's platform two you want for the direction to Offenburg and Ringsheim. So yeah, we'll get onto the train shortly. Here we go then, so we've now arrived here at Ringsheim Station. Yeah, that journey took just under an hour. The train was a little bit delayed. I know, don't we see that very often in Germany. Normally everything's really on time, but yeah, it was delayed a little bit, the train. We've arrived here at Ringsheim. Obviously, normally we come in over onto Platform 2 over there when we come in over from Basel, from Switzerland. But yeah, we've come onto Platform 1. Literally, just follow the signs around here until you see the bus stop, which is literally right over there and now it's Ringsheim Europa Park is the official name of the station just here so yeah we'll just head around here now and wait for the bus here we go then so here's a look at the updated bus stop so it used to just be a little stop at the side of the road now as you can see you got the Europa Park logo just up there and also an old train just there from Eurosat before it was the Can Can Coaster you've also got Eddie Mouse and Snorri up there as well obviously the mascot for the park and also the mascot for the water park and just over here you got Charlotte all wrapped up here she is <laughs> it's chilly isn't it oh we're just waiting for the bus now about 15-20 uh, minutes until it the bus. Just drove off. It did as we got here. It's the, it's the 7231 we're getting on. Uh, and that takes us down into Rus. It's only about a 10 minute journey from here. And then we've made it. Yeah, <laughs> it looked nice and so snug cool. there. But yeah, at least there is a proper undercover station just here as well, which is good. Obviously, if you wanted to, you can get a taxi from here. Taxis are coming down, but yeah, we'll wait for the official bus. That'll take us right down to buy our hotel. Yeah, there's also a screen down here giving you loads of information, including the buses, which is the 7231 that you can see there. For that, you just pay on the bus. And then also, it's got all the trains um, that are coming in and departing from here as well, along with the opening times for Europa Park. As you can see, it's open from 11 until 7. Rulantica's opening times there as well. Yuldi and Eat Drenlin, which are two additional activities that we've got. One of them's VR, and Eat Drenlin's one of the restaurants outside of the park. But uh, there you go. It took a little bit longer than expected due to a couple of delays. Um, because we missed that first connection because obviously that affects it all then when you're connecting with things um, but we've made it it's just very chilly
Right then, so we've just got off the bus down here at the Europa Park main entrance. Worth pointing out, it does also drop off at Kronosar for Rulantica and that hotel. And also there's a stop by the other hotels at the Europa Park Resort as well. But here we go, as you can see the park's decked out for Christmas. We're just gonna walk around to our accommodation now. It's about five minutes just around this corner. Nice and easy, but yeah, the bus ride uh, it takes about 10 15 minutes from the station uh, to get to the entrance here because it stops at Kronosar first, then it goes to the hotel resorts, and then comes down here to the main entrance of the park. Right then, so a short five minute walk just around the corner there from where the bus dropped us off and also from the entrance to Europa Park, we've arrived here at our accommodation. So we're staying at Pensa Mimosa. We stayed here before and really enjoyed it. We stayed here we last year. It. I think it was in the apartment next I door. I think we was, yeah. It is a small little apartment here in the town of Rust. And obviously with Europa Park, if you've been before, you'll know this. If you haven't, I'll talk about that now. You've got Europa Park, which is all here. And then you've got the town of Rust, which kind of stretches all down the side. So it feels like one big resort it in a does. way. There's like so many hotels and stuff around here as well. There's a lot of different external hotels, guest houses, takeaways. There's, there's lots of different things around here. There's also a Lidl uh, for doing some <laughs> shopping. So we've just been up there. And the reason why we're staying in an apartment is because we get a mini fridge, dining table, and it's just nice uh, knowing that literally we're a few minutes walk around the corner from the park. Literally just stroll out and then we're in the park. Perfect. Well, yeah, we'll give you a little tour around and show you what this guest house is like here in Rust. So our main door down to Europa Park is just down that way. And yeah, take a right and literally it's less than a five minute walk to the entrance. Oh, and here's a look at our apartment. So here you got some nice artwork just outside here as well. Here we go. Let's come on in and have a little look round where we're staying. Hey. <laughs> here we go, starting off with the bed. We've got some nice beds here, nice separate quilts which I like. Yeah, we always like that when we go over to Germany, don't yeah, we? Quilt hogging because we've got separate quilts which is nice. Oh yes, a couple of bedside cabinets as well. A uh, nice big bed, look at that, here we go. Big. Yeah, it's bigger than our one at home that. We've got yeah. room for it in here. Yeah. There's a couple of lamps as well, a rose just up there on the wall. Nice. Yeah. We've got a nice coffee machine here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Nice <laughs> bottle of water. There you go. And it's still water as well. Yeah, there you go. You've got your cups from Ikea there. <laughs> yeah. And then we've got a fridge as well, which is nice to have a fridge. Very handy to have the fridge. And we've also got the TV, which I've got to say, it is in a bit of a funny place just up there. I don't really know why it's there, but yeah, not really like we're going to be watching TV, but uh, there you go. Obviously, you've got your heating and an AC unit up there. And we've got this contraption just here as well. Oh, Hockey okay. stick. No, it's too yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but yeah, the great thing about this apartment um, is it's pretty big. We've actually been down to Lidl. Like I say, the Lidl's probably about a 10 minute walk from here. And it's more closer up towards um, the actual resort hotels. But like I say, it's all kind of connected. And you don't go through like a big entrance gate welcoming you to the resort or anything. It's all kind of connected to the town. Uh, of Rush just here, but uh, here we go. What have you got here, Charlotte? So we've got the After Eight Santa, <laughs> and we've got these. So back in the UK, I love these, but these only come in a selection of Fiera Rochers. But here, you can get them on their own. Oh, I can't wait to dig into these. Have they got nuts in? I don't think so. No, no, no nuts. There we go. We've got plenty of water. There we go. It took us a while to get there because you end up getting fizzy water, but we oh, managed yeah, to find the we still one. To find the right one. Yeah, it's always hard. You gotta love it. Got some nice bananas there as well. Got some muffins, a few different snacks, obviously here as well, which is good. And these lovely flowers that, uh, yeah, there you go, fake right flowers. Day. Just show you the view actually whilst we're here. Look at this, because you actually see a da -da -da, Euro Tower just there that's decorated like a ginormous Christmas tree. So that's how close we are to the park. Literally, we walk around this corner and you are there at the main entrance to Europa Park. That's Fantastic, right? What else have we got around here? So we've got some bunk beds over here. Yeah, a couple of beds, and there's a pull-out down there, so technically these could sleep five people. I think quite a lot in here, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, and we got a really good price, actually, just on booking.com. Um, for here, it was, I think it was 320 euros for five That's nights. Not really bad at all, to be honest. No, obviously it's cheaper at this time of year, because we're in winter, exactly. but yeah, a couple of bunks just there. Here we go. Mind the noise, because of the fans. <laughs> the fans coming on, there we go. Theme Park will buy its biggest fan. Where is it? Just up there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Shower, toilet. Nice modern shower facility just there as well. Hair dryer. Yeah, hair dryer comes in here if you are coming over. Nice storage cabinet yeah. just there. And the sink and mirror, well there you go. 
that's so this is our home for the next, well, five nights whilst we're here in Rust. And what I love about coming here is that it's nice and easy. Once you get here, obviously, you know, you've got to think about the train and stuff. It takes a bit of time. Does, but yeah. once you're here now, you've got no travelling about. We're around the corner to the park. The park. park hours are 11 a.m. through until at least 7 p.m. That's really good. You get a line on the morning at Christmas. It's not too late either. No, yeah, it's ideal. It's just a really nice, relaxed kind of trip at Christmas yeah. to do around here at EP. So there you go, that's our travel vlog here to Europa Park from London Stansted. Of course, we flew out to Baden Baden. And uh, yeah, then we got on the trains and the buses, which to be honest, it is easy enough to do. We was a little bit off schedule because of the times today. Well, it can't be helped. That's the thing, when you're technically getting, well, three connections. Yeah. Yeah, if you miss your first one uh, by a little bit. Yeah, it all kind of goes down. What happened was we got out of the airport in time, but the first bus was delayed by just a few minutes. It was, but it just chucked everything else <laughs> It off. did. It by the time we got to the train station, uh, we just missed that other train. We missed it by like one minute. But we ended up being able to get the direct train from Bull Station down Which to Ringsheim instead of having to change at Offenburg, even though we did sit in Offenburg for about 15 minutes. Yeah, we did, yeah. But yeah, easy enough to do. Obviously, you've got the, the buses. Yeah, the first bus that we got from the airport to the train station, about 35 minutes. Um, then the trains that took uh, just under an hour to do that train journey, including the 15 minutes sat there um, in Offenburg, and then of course a 10 minute bus ride um, round here from Rust, from Ringsheim into Rust itself. Not too bad. No, it's okay, it sounds like a lot, but you get to see some really nice scenery along the way. It's easy enough to do, and obviously if you do miss your connection, don't worry, uh, there's going to be more be buses and trains. One. The trains run until about half past 10, 11 o'clock at night, same with the buses, so yeah, you, you know, you've got ways of getting here, but I'd probably advise not flying into the airport at like 11 pm. No, I would. And then trying to do early. that. Try and do it in the daytime. Um, we just make it uh, easier for your journey. But uh, there we go. We've got lots of content coming up. This is just the start of many different vlogs here on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, tomorrow we'll be having our vlog day one in Europa Park at Christmas time. Oh, can't wait. Oh, we've got a little sneak preview, of course, on the bus, seeing the lights up and, yeah, also Euro Tower lit up. Well, there's nothing like stepping into the park for Christmas. And we're going to have, like, three, four hours of rides in the dark oh, as well. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Thank you very much for watching. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep on riding. See you at Europa Park.